coaching, again, is finding that meaningful purpose, those meaningful pursuits, those things you want to achieve, things you want to create, being purpose-driven, being on the chase, on the hunt as a man, stretching yourself, pushing yourself, pressuring yourself, challenging yourself, and having someone pushing you and challenging you to do even better because you can always do even more. You can always do even better. You could be an even better husband, an even better father, an even better leader, an even better entrepreneur. You could always make even more money, make an even bigger impact. And that's what pushing you towards that purpose and finding that purpose and meaning as a freaking man, which is leading towards your growth, the nonstop growth in your skills, growth in your confidence and your competency, growth in your freaking character, where you're living more in alignment, a best of who you are living in alignment with your assignment that you've been freaking put on this planet for as a man. Like you were planted here for a reason to bring, bring order to the chaos, to be the provider and protector and leader of your people and your family and your kids. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. Today, we are going to be talking about coaching. Not just what coaching is, but why you and everyone, really anyone in any level, any area, needs a freaking coach. We're going to take a deep dive into it. After today, I guarantee you're going to realize where you have some missing gaps and missing holes in your life, in different areas of your life, and you also realize you might need coaching in different different spots. That's what we're going to be talking about today on the Steve Eckert Show podcast. This is a show on how to flip the switch and have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freaking terms all while you're creating your own personal freak freedom lifestyle. This is all about transforming men and women from where they are to where they want to be, need to be, and freaking deserve to be. And really, that's what coaching is about. This, this show, this episode, and every episode before this, this, this podcast in general, this is a, a version of coaching. If you listen from episode one all the way up until now, in order, you are literally getting coached at a high level every single freaking week. This is coaching. This is learning. We're, we're always talking about here how to weaponize everything, how to weaponize your failures, your, tra- your tragedies, your, your victories, your obstacles, how to weaponize your weaknesses, how to flip the switch on how you think and operate in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business. That's really what coaching is. This podcast is coaching. You are getting coached on here. The things we talk about, the frameworks that we set here on the show are things that I literally use it, it, at times with my one-on-one high-end private coaching clients in the OTD Operate to Dominate Coaching and in the, the men's group coaching, the, the Freak Father Alliance, we talk about these things, we work on these things, and you're getting a, a snapshot, you're getting a taste of those things each week here on the podcast. So really, what is a coach? What is a coach, why you need one, and what a coach actually does for you? This is what we're going to dive deep into. And again, this podcast every week is coaching you for free at a high level. You can almost just go off of this podcast alone and it will change your life. You'll you'll have more fulfillment, you'll make more money, you will level up in all areas of life of your mindset, your muscles, your money, your meaning, your self-mastery, your own mission in life. So let's let's dive into it, a coach. But what is a coach? A coach is a guide, a mentor, a teacher, a consultant, a role model, but specifically a coach. A coach is a little different than all those things. Now, coach at times always needs to be a role model, but a a coach sometimes guides, sometimes mentors, sometimes teaches, sometimes does consulting, depending on the situation and what needs to get done. So what what is a a coach when it comes to definitions or whatever else? You know, we always like to dive deep into it and start from there. And then we freakify it and say, what does it actually mean to us in our freak world? And and a coach is is simply just someone whose job is to, to teach people to improve at whatever it is, whether it's a sport or a subject, a, a category in life, a skill, to really do a better job or improve their skill, improve their life, and and think of a coach in a sports team. 
but you could also have a, a, a life coach or whatever it's called nowadays, mindset coaching, a fitness coach. But it all falls under the same category of coaching. We're talking about the broad spectrum of coaching. We're not going to talk about any one specific area. There are different areas you might need a coach in life. And I know tons of people who have several coaches. I've had different coaches in different areas at the same time. And, and that's totally fine. But a good coach is going to give their client access to the, to the guidance that they're looking for, the direction, the perspective that they're looking for. The, the, and that could be internally, externally, just diving deeper, teach, teaching them to almost go deeper, helping them to discover and practice and master new ways to be more intentional about shaping the and carving out and forging their mindset and their freaking focus and helping them dig into their beliefs and their behaviors and their thought patterns to identify what's working, what's not working, what's helping them and what's hurting them. This is what coaching is. And think about this stuff. As I'm saying this stuff, you should be reflecting on every one of these things. We're going to go into tons of different bullet points of what coaching is, what coaching does. And you should be really listing them all out yourself and, and following along and taking notes and saying, all right, where am I in this area? Which one of these things do I need help in? Which one of these things am I good at? Which one of these things am I, am I struggling in? Because a, a coach is a teacher, a guide, a facilitator, a partner on this journey. Sometimes a coach has to be an investigator asking questions. A lot of times my coaching is literally just digging, 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 asking questions, the tough questions, the deeper questions, the meaningful questions, the questions that someone's not thinking to ask themselves. And once you ask it of them, it's, it's a hard to answer sometimes, but it's shit they need to answer, shit they need to answer themselves. I'm not giving the answer. I'm giving the question so you can find the freaking answer. That's what it's helping you to master yourself. I'm not, at times, a coach does need to be a, a consultant or a teacher where it's teaching a framework or teaching something that's going to help someone move along closer to self-mastery or a consultant type where it's like, all right, you need to do this, A, B, and C. You need to do this right now, this way. This is what I would recommend. That would be a, a consultant segment of coaching. But in general, it's, it's a, asking questions to help you uncover the, the truths about yourself and, and the real fucking raw truthness of what you need to be doing. Shit that you probably weren't thinking about because you weren't going dark enough. You weren't going freaking deep enough. That's what we're talking about. So what makes a great coach? A great coach is, is really making everyone around them better. It's very similar to leadership, making everyone about, around them better in their discipline, in their energy, in their confidence, in the actions they're taking, in being their freak self, really teaching them, sometimes uh, teaching, like I'll teach through a lot of my own experiences, a lot of my own lessons, my victories, a lot of my own gratitude, a lot of my own fuck ups and failures. This is what I'm teaching through and coaching through, through those transformations I've had myself or how I do it, how it works for me, or how I've seen it work for different clients or different people in different areas, how to live and how maybe they can live too, how to operate and how maybe they can operate too if it fits within the realm of their character, their personality, their goals, their lifestyle. But to me, a good coach is, is going to go a little deeper than that. It's not going to stop at that surface level. It's going to go a little fucking deeper and push them and pressure them to flip the fucking switch, to get their shit together, to stop being a little bitch, to call them out on their bullshit. That's to me the type of coaching that I, that, I, that I do. Help them to discover their way, their path, their personal freak freedom ideal lifestyle that we talk about. To stop living with work-life imbalance and instead live with work-life symmetry and satisfaction and alignment and fulfillment and work-life domination and happiness, but digging deeper in order to get there. Help them discover those things about themselves, about their life, about the way that they're acting and operating and thinking that they never even knew existed that they never even thought was fucking possible. That's what we're talking about, about a deeper level of coaching, giving them that awareness and gratitude and perspective to fill those gaps that are, are missing in different areas of their life, to help them to really almost manifest what they want or, or even what they don't even know they want or help them articulate what they want because they don't even fucking know it. They don't even get it. They don't understand it because they haven't dug deep enough and they're too caught up in the, in the weeds of daily life and bullshit is helping them become bullshit bulletproof, helping them think a whole new level, a whole new level of, of perspective. And that comes through the investigative, deeper, darker, tough questioning, tough feedback, tough accountability. And then hearing the, the responses and the answers and hearing if it's just bullshit and it's shallow and if it's just talk and then digging deeper and following up with it. All right, that's not good enough. I need a little, hear a little more about this. Why did you say it this way? Why did you word it this way? That's what we're talking about. 
Uh, and and some people say coaching is to hold space. I don't really like to, to hold space, but it is giving them that that forum, that forum to, to where it's not so much judge. Well, there is a little bit of judgment because you're judging them on on certain things. Can't say it's judgment free or non judgmental. It is a little bit if they're doing shit in a in a half ass way and they're not living up to their full potential. Yes, I'm going to judge that. Like, why the fuck are you doing this? When are you going to start? finally living up to your full potential and not half-ass shit and stop just checking the boxes. So there's a, if you, a little bit of a judgment there because they need that. They need that asshole like me in their life. Everyone needs that. So think about these things as we're running through all these different categories. Which ones apply to you? Which ones do you struggle with? Which ones are you good at? Which ones did you never even, which things did you never even think about? We're talking about changing your thinking about a situation. Maybe getting you to come up with different options, different options yourself. And if you can't come up with enough, then maybe hinting at a couple other options or giving some suggestions or ideas that maybe you could add into the mix to, so you could start changing the way you operate, change the way you think, change the way you do shit and understanding what's going to work best for you and figuring that out yourself. But it's being facilitated by this pushing, by this pressuring, by this questioning, by this accountability, by this feedback. That's what it's all about. And that's what, coaching really is you everyone needs that and sometimes you need to coach yourself that that comes with self-reflection coaching yourself painting a picture of what your lifestyle that you want to have what life what the goals you want to have painting that picture but then you need outside eyes on that picture and outside eyes outside knowledge and perspective and ideas and insights and outside experiences of, of, of someone else on a regular basis so that you're not just suffering in silence and trying to wing it and figure shit out on your own so you can discover what are what is your true potential what are you actually capable of what you're truly made of and who the fuck you really are that's what some outside eyes and some coaching is going to help you do get to levels you never even knew existed never even thought were freaking possible so that you can start living uh, learning to live uh, according to your own personal freak freedom lifestyle that you want all while being yourself your authentic, real, true self in the process. That's what this is about, just discovering and, and get having, uh, helping with decision-making so you can perform with excellence in all the areas of life that we're talking about, in that self-mastery, in your fitness, in your finances, in your family, in your mindset, the way you're thinking and operating so you can operate to dominate in, the, in all those areas. And... Coach, make it clear. It might sound like, oh, this sounds like therapy. Coaching is not therapy. There's some people who need coaching that also might need freaking therapy, maybe. But a lot of times working on yourself, that takes care of the need for therapy. There's deeper situations and, and whatever. Think about therapy as dealing with your past. Think about coaching as dealing with the present moment and your future. That's the way I see it. Can't help you. And, and dealing with the present and the future can sometimes unfuck stuff in your past, but there's a place for therapy. There's a place for coaching. They are not the same thing. There are some people that have, need coaching but also need therapy. There are some people that just need coaching. But almost everyone needs coaching. Whether they need therapy also or not, they need freaking coaching to help you make those decisions, to take the right actions in life, to continue working on your craft, on your mission, on your money, on those things that are meaningful to you, on your meaning in general, your purpose. You're finding that purpose, finding the direction, the trajectory of your freaking life. Starting from today, moving forward. That's what we're talking about. From the present, from right fucking now, going forward. How you need to operate in all those different areas. And helping you measure those things and holding you accountable for those things. And having someone in your corner. Imagine that. Not having to go at shit alone. Having someone in your corner that believes in you probably more than you believe in yourself. Someone that could see that future version of yourself, even if you can't see it your fucking self. And might believe in you more than you even believe in your fucking self. Because they know it's possible because they've done it themselves. They've been there and done that and seen countless other people do it through their experiences get there the same way. So they know it's possible for you even before you know it. And that's why they're pushing you, pressuring you, and helping you come up with these solutions instead of just giving it to you. Because you're going to support what you create more than what someone just gives you or tells you. Helping you discover it on your own is a whole lot more fucking powerful than someone just handing it to you on a platter where you don't have to do any of the work or any of the hard, deep reflection on yourself and not having to dig, dig into self-awareness and some self-freaking discipline. That's what it's about. And it's, it's also about helping you just manage your time, manage your energy, because time is just is energy. 
You don't have a time management problem. You have an energy management problem. And that's what we're talking about. That aliveness, that energy management, that sense of, of feeling alive day to day in, day out, that feeling of energy and fire for freaking life. Those goals of what you want to be, what you want to become, what you know you're freaking capable of. That's what we're talking about when we talk about energy, energy management. Really just energy management is also being yourself so you're not burnt out from faking and, 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 and being someone who you're not. Just being your freaking freak self. But there's also coaching that goes into connection, connection to your family, connection to the universe, connection to yourself, having deep, meaningful building and, and culturing and, and generating and cultivating and elevating deep, meaningful relationships with the people around you that are important to you. Realizing where you're slipping up, where you're fucking up, where you could do better, how you can do better, how you can make those things better. And a huge part of coaching, again, is finding that meaningful purpose, those meaningful pursuits, those things you want to achieve, things you want to create, being purpose-driven, being on the chase, on the fucking hunt as a man, stretching yourself, pushing yourself, pressuring yourself, challenging yourself, and having someone pushing you and challenging you to do even better because you can always do even more. You can always do even better. You could be an even better husband, an even better father, an even better leader, an even better entrepreneur. You can always make even more money, make an even bigger impact. And that's what pushing you towards that purpose and finding that purpose and meaning as a freaking man, which is leading towards your growth, the nonstop growth in your skills, growth in your confidence and your competency, growth in your freaking character, where you're living more in alignment of, of who the fuck you are. The best of who you are, living in alignment with your assignment that you've been freaking put on this planet for as a man, like you were planted here for a reason to bring, bring order to the chaos, to be the provider and protector and leader of your people and your family and your kids and growing in that area and working towards self-mastery every freaking day, getting better every day. That's what a coach helps you do, get better every fucking day. Now, a lot of this stuff can be done by yourself but it can be done exponentially faster and more effective when you have some outside eyes helping you all along the way, every step of the way. Think about it. It's a a team effort when it comes to to coaching, building a relationship. uh, Because that's why everyone needs a coach. Everyone needs a freaking coach, a guide, a mentor, someone to hold you freaking accountable, someone to call you out on your bullshit and tell you the truth when no one else will. Someone that'll tell you what you need to hear, not just what you want to fucking hear. Not just a bunch of yes men. That is not a coach. That's an ass kisser. That's a fucking brown nose. That's not what we're talking about. Someone that's going to help you to maintain your discipline and structure and focus. The greats, the greats in every sport, all entertainment and art and business and any industry all have coaches. No matter what level they are, think about it. Michael Jordan had multiple coaches. He had, he had Phil Jackson as his team's basketball coach, but then also had a fitness coach. What the heck was his fitness coach's name? Tim Grover. He had Tim Grover. Good thing my cameraman is here and he pays attention. He comes to all the seminars with us. Some reason the name was slipping my my head. Tim Grover, his fitness coach who coached all the greats in basketball and he trained them just in their fitness, but as they're training them in their fitness, he's also training them in their mindset on how to be a winner, how to be a cleaner as he calls it. He's their coach. He's getting coached in just that specific area. And then coached in actual basketball. Then, I'm, then he's coached in leadership. And most of these coaches are, are not just coaching. You think Phil Jackson was only coaching basketball? Hell no. You think John Wooden was only coaching basketball? Basketball is probably the least thing John Wooden was coaching as a basketball coach in college. He was teaching those young men how to be good men. How to be solid men. How to work on themselves. He was teaching them personal development more than he was teaching basketball. He was teaching personal discipline and self-awareness and and teamwork and communication and leadership and problem solving more than he was teaching basketball. That's why everyone needs a coach. Mike Tyson, you think he couldn't knock people out on his own? Of course he could. But to control his rage and control his anger, he needed a coach. You probably heard the story. He had custom auto as a coach the second it's, it's thought and said that his career went downhill once custom auto died. And he started getting in the wrong areas in the wrong, wrong direction because he didn't have that, that fatherly guidance and leadership. Think of John Wick, Keanu Reeves. And you think he, he, I mean, he, he's an actor. You think he doesn't have acting coaches still? Helping him critique his acting, get him prepared for specific roles like John Wick. At the same time, he's got jujitsu coaches, firearms instructors. He's got coaches in all those specific areas for this one role. 
to make him better. It's making him better at the movie. It's going to make shitloads of money for the movie. You think it's not also making him a better man, a better person? He's actually learning some of these skills in real life. Like everyone needs a freaking coach. And no matter how successful you are, no matter what level you are, how much talent you have or skills you have, everyone needs someone to keep them on track, on focus to make them even better. Throw that word all the time, even, in fucking capital letters. Every, you can always be even better at everything you're doing, no matter how much natural ability you have, how much talent or skill or money or success or whatever you want to call it, you can always be even better. And that's why everyone needs this aspect in their life. Everyone needs different coaches in different areas of life. Because what, what, what does a coach do? For, well, for, for me, in, in most of our coaching programs, I help entrepreneurs and professionals to, to operate to dominate in their, in their mind, their body, and their business. To help them achieve their peak performance, their peak potential, their peak physique in their, in their mindset, their muscles, their money, their meaning, their mastery, their self-mastery on their mission on this freaking planet. Helping them to flip the switch, to get from where they are to where they want to be, need to be, and their family fucking deserves for them to be, that's what our coach is helping you to do. That next level, not just where you want to be, but where you need to be and deserve to be and where your people and your family that you are leading as a man deserve for you to be. To, to help them build even more discipline and energy and confidence so they could take bold action and take risks and really live life on their own terms all while, while finally creating the, the personal lifestyle they always wanted to live, living life on their own terms, marching to the beat of your own drum, helping them do that to create that ideal freak freedom lifestyle that we talk about. Build, all with building that confidence they could take that bold action. And it's really all about, we talk about it all the time, helping them to flip the switch, to stop being a little bitch, to get their shit together, to get their house in order, to get themselves in order with self-discipline. This, this is a lot of shit. You see, we're throwing just so much shit at you because a lot of this can't, can't, stuff doesn't get done on your own. And people think, oh, I already do that. Oh, I already know that. Until you get some outside eyes looking at what you're doing and be like, you could do a lot fucking better than that, bro. Yeah, I said bro. Cameraman doesn't like when I say bro. But listen, I, I tell people all the time, I yell at people for a living. I talk shit to people for, for a living. I'm an asshole for a living because everyone needs an asshole like me in their life. Everyone needs that person that's willing to tell them the shit they need to hear, not so they want to hear. Everyone needs that so that they can have that personal development in the, in the mind, the mindset, the discipline, the confidence, the accountability, the motivation, but the straightforwardness, the structure. That's what we're talking about when it comes to that discipline, that personal development, but also in their, in their, in their muscles and in, in the body, the physical development. They need coaching in their, their nutrition, their fitness, their training. To get it, make it even better so that they're built for wars. They have durability and endurance to outlast the freaking competition. And then you need coaching on the, the impact and income development side, the money, the business side, where we're, whether we're talking about leadership or building a team or communication or structure and organization and, and operations. So you can duplicate and scale with systems and processes, standard operating procedures. So you can generate more money with sales, marketing, Coaching helps with all this that we're talking about. This is why you could see everyone needs a coach. Look at all the areas we just talked about. It's fucking overwhelming to think you're going to go with that shit alone. We're just gonna, you can't just wing all that stuff. I mean, coaches I've had in my life to help me to adapt and overcome, to be that better version of myself every freaking day, to get my shit together, to stop being a little bitch and start trusting the process and stop making excuses, stop accepting excuses. That's what it does for you. Make you an even better husband an even better father, an even better leader, an even better, even better entrepreneur and freaking man. Living, creating those boundaries in your life that you maybe didn't have before. And there's a, a whole entire episode coming up on boundaries off of, the, off of this episode because you need to have those boundaries in your life. You need to have that structure and be a control freak. But you also need someone that's going to help you stay focused, keep you accountable, make you more productive and efficient in your personal life, in your professional life working on your leadership and communication skills in your personal life, in your professional life. Now you see where we're going with this? There's so many areas that how could you possibly keep track of it all and, 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 and separate this all without a framework from a coach that's breaking it down for you week by week, month by month, year by year, down to the day, down to the fucking moment, down to the minute. That's what we're talking about. Helping you create that life vision that you have. 
and those core values and making sure you're fucking living according to those core values, not just talking about it, not just bullshitting and half-assing and posting some shit on the internet, but someone to actually dig deep into who the fuck you really are and into your life and see if you really are who you say you are, if you're really operating to say you're operating and how you say you want and the, the purpose and the mission and the vision and the values and goals that you claim you want, someone to hold you accountable for that shit. Oh, wait a minute. You said you want this, but you're doing this over here. That is not in alignment with your assignment. The assignment that you've given yourself, the assignment that the universe, a higher power, a higher calling, God, whatever you want to call it, has given you on this freaking planet as a man. That you're saying you want this type of fulfillment, but you're doing this over here. This men- Whether it's mental toughness and decision making, problem solving, these are the areas we're talking about. Your fitness and your health, your discipline in those areas, giving you more energy, more endurance, more confidence. These are the stuff we're talking about. You say you want to get in the best shape of your life, but then you're freaking eating ho-hos and Twinkies or saying, I just had a little sliver of cake. Motherfucker, that is not in alignment with the shit that you're claiming you want to be. And that's what a coach is to be one that's going to tell you. Your friends, your friends will say, oh, it's okay. Don't beat yourself up over it. It's okay. Just go one day at a time. Just, just get better next time. No, 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 no. That's bullshit. A coach will tell you, you know what? You feel like shit right now because you slipped up with one of these vices of yours. You should feel like fucking shit. And you need someone to tell you you should feel like shit. And you should beat yourself up a little bit sometimes. Not all the times and not too bad, but you should. So you remember what it feels like when you did that shit so it doesn't fucking happen again. So you could be more productive. So you could make more money. So you could have a better mindset. This will, and, and overall, it's about having just a, a better, a different perspective in general. So you're having more control of your life, better structure in your day, more discipline. You're an actual role model because you're doing what you're saying. We say in the project, I'm a man of my word. I make a promise and I keep it. But also, you're in control of everything in your life. And you have the power and control to change your circumstances. And a coach can help you see these things. So you have consistency in your life. And showing you the way and teaching you the way and having you discover the way on your own. So that you're more in control of your freaking life. So you're ready to deal with adversity. The shirt right on it, you can't see it from the camera. It says discipline on the front. It says resilience on the back. That's what a coach is helping you do. Have more discipline in all your life. Discipline is your foundation of everything. Mental, physical, and emotional discipline. And challenging you mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, socially. That's what mental toughness is. Emotional discipline and emotional resiliency is mental toughness. That's what coaching is going to push you and pressure you to do, to forge that character, to develop that self-awareness and uncover superpowers you don't even know fucking existed. So you could be more present and have more intentionality in the shit you're doing every day that's in alignment with those goals that you claim you say you want. So you can have a, a more positive plan and outlook on the freaking future. And what's it actually doing for you? What does having a coach actually do for you? It ignites that spark of freaking greatness inside you that you probably don't even see or believe or forgot that even existed or it's dormant and it's been stuck in a rut and it's lost its fire and its spark. Coach is going to push and pressure, like I've already said, getting you to think differently, to, to see a whole new set of possibilities, encourage you to grow, to change, to challenge you, to call you out in your bullshit, but also at the same time, believe and support in you and inspire you and motivate you when you need, when needed, but also teach you how to motivate yourself. It's a time for external motivation, but there's a time for internal motivation. But also at, all along the way, yes, leading you and guiding you, but holding you accountable for your own fucking actions, what you do and what you fail to do. And sometimes it's gonna make you uncomfortable receiving that straightforward direct feedback, which you need and deserve in your life. It's a disservice if you don't have someone calling you out on your bullshit and giving you that straightforward feedback that you need, not just kissing your ass getting you to do things and accomplish things that you never thought were freaking possible and solving different problems and helping you work through them and think through them so you can discover the freaking solutions and to these problems. That's when there's a real breakthroughs and transformation is going to happen. That's when you're going to start helping you create a clear map of, of where you want to go and paint that picture of what outcome and results really look like for you of what your purpose and higher calling and fucking meaning is on this planet to make you better every day in all areas of your life. So you can see the day and your problems and other people and the world and just life in general from a completely different perspective. I've had tons of coaches in my life. And really as a boy, as a young man, your first coach and your lifelong coach should be your father. And I didn't have that 
luxury of having a father as my coach, but I'd say probably my brother when I was a kid was my first, technically was my first coach, at least teaching me the basics in life. High school should also be coaches and mentors, your teachers, but they seem a lot of times to be failing in that area with the, the bullshit that goes on in the world these days. Then in the military, of course, I had coaches in the military, starting with drill instructors. What are, that is the, those are the, they were the ultimate coaches. The drill instructor showing you what discipline and excellence and operating to dominate really looks like. And then going into business, having business coaches, Early on business coaches, I had some of the, the first internet marketers that were in our local area that were my personal training clients that are teaching me along the way. I'm actually learning while I'm training them and going to their seminars and workshops and learning about it. And then my real first officially hired business coach, Bedros Koulian, helped me to grow and scale businesses, to start creating the lifestyle that I wanted to live, living where I want to live, working how I want to work, building the types of businesses and making the kind of money so I can make the type of impact that I want to live. Dead people could even be your fucking coach and your mentor. Look at all these books over here on the side. You can't see on camera, but hundreds of books in here. Literally probably a thousand books in this freaking house. Dead folks can be your coach. You can learn so much. You can have mentors and coaches from the past. Don't think just because they're not alive. You can still get advice from them just by going deep and diving deep into the to studying other people. Your peers can be your coach. Your clients can be your coach. You, I learn just as much from clients as I do from anywhere else. Your spouse could be your coach. And it's, it's weird how it comes full circle. Your, real, your first lifelong coach should be your father. And if it's not, should have that male, positive male role model figure that you have as a young man, a young boy in life. And it comes full circle because then once you have kids, yeah, you're their coach, you're their guide, you're their father, you're their mentor. But when it flips, the flip, it gets flipped. They end up being your coach. They end up showing you if you're in the right, going on the right path, the way that they're operating and living, the, way, the shit that they're doing the way that they're acting and operating and what percent of output they are having. Yeah, I'm looking at my cameraman. He's wondering if I'm talking about him. But your kids become your coach. My kids are my biggest coaches ever in my life. Over every coach I've ever had, I learn more from them than anyone else, both on how they operate and it teaches me if I'm on the right path, but also just how they do shit, how they learn shit, how they pick stuff up. The skills that they have, they are my ultimate coach. Crazy how that starts. Your parents are your first lifelong coach. Your kids are your second lifelong coach. And then everything else that falls in between. But that's what it's all about. Coaching you, guiding you, mentoring you. It's all geared towards training your mindset, training your body to get you on the right mission, to have that meaning, to keep working towards self-mastery. And... That's what this is all about. That's this with this discipline and this structure and the proper mindset, along with mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, health, and fitness. It's all about getting outside eyes to guide you and steer you in the right direction, seeing things from a different perspective that you were unable to see on your own. That's what coaching does for you. That's what a young man's parents and especially father should be doing for him. And as a father, that's what your kids should also be doing for you as you're doing it for them. It's a freaking never ending cycle when it comes to fatherhood and parenthood with a father and a son and a father and his kids. It's a nonstop lifelong circle pattern of life of freaking coaching. And then all these other things, all these other types of coaches we said in between. But the first one is right there, right at freaking home. Forcing you to get your shit together. Forcing you to be the type of man that you're supposed to be. The type of man that your son wants to become. The type of man that your daughter would want to marry. The type of man that your wife is going to respect and feel safe around. The type of man whose children are going to show up to his funeral. That's what coaching is leading to. That's the kind of lifestyle we're talking about. Everyone needs a fucking coach. Including you. If you want any... Any further details on coaching, different types of coaching that might be available, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one or in a men's group, send me a message. We could talk about it. There's, there's tons of op options and opportunities, whether it's in-person events, one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is the OTD, Operate to Dominate, or the Freak Father Alliance, which is the men's mentorship in your mastery, muscles, money, meaning, and your mission. So this is why everyone needs a coach. Go through this. Listen to it again. You should be taking tons of notes and giving yourself feedback and reflection on all these different areas of what I'm saying a coach can do for you and see if you are getting that in your life from yourself 
Are you getting that in life from your coaches? If not, you need to get some more coaching and mentoring from all these different areas of life. Send me a message. Let's talk about it. We can go a little deeper and darker and call you out on your bullshit and take you to levels you never knew existed to flip the switch, break through those barriers, and have some real meaningful transformations as men. I will talk to you next time. Send me a message. Let's talk about it. Click the link around this video if you want some more information on actual coaching, real world coaching that's going to take you to the next freaking level. I will see you next time. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.